How long does it take metformin to work? According to the American Diabetes Association, around 10% of Americans have diabetes, impacting approximately 34.2 million Americans. The great majority of these people, approximately 31 million, have type 2 diabetes. Type 2 diabetes patients make insulin, but their bodies do not respond to it. Type 1 diabetes, on the other hand, is defined by insufficient insulin production and is not caused or impacted by lifestyle. When it comes to type 2 diabetes, doctors frequently recommend lifestyle modifications as the first line of treatment, such as eating a nutritious diet, decreasing weight, and getting more exercise. Some people, however, are unable to maintain their blood sugar levels without medication. Prescription drugs such as metformin can assist type 2 diabetes patients to maintain their blood sugar levels, but how long does metformin take to work? What exactly is metformin? Metformin, a generic medicine available under glucophage and glucophage XR is used to treat type 2 diabetes. The medication belongs to a class of pharmaceuticals known as biguanides, which were previously used to treat diabetes but are now primarily used to treat malaria. Metformin has been provided to over 120 million individuals globally and is the most widely used type 2 diabetes drug. Metformin was approved by the United States Food and Drug Administration FDA, in 1995, and the prescription immediately became immensely popular due to its effectiveness. Metformin comes in both immediate and extended release formulations. Metformin is used to treat what conditions? Metformin is used to treat type 2 diabetes, which affects an estimated 31 million people in the United States. Ninety percent of the 10 percent of Americans who have any form of diabetes have type 2 diabetes. Type 1 diabetes, often known as juvenile diabetes, is a hereditary disorder in which the body fails to create enough insulin to meet its needs. The condition is neither impacted or caused by lifestyle, and people living with type 1 diabetes must take insulin daily to maintain their blood sugar. People with type 2 diabetes, on the other hand, make insulin but are unable to use it correctly because their bodies do not respond to the hormone. Regardless of the type of diabetes a person has, they cannot properly metabolize glucose in food and convert it to energy. Under normal circumstances, the body digests meals into glucose and releases it into the bloodstream, causing blood sugar levels to rise. This causes the pancreas to secrete insulin, which instructs the body to utilize glucose for energy. When the body becomes resistant to insulin, as it does in persons with type 2 diabetes, blood sugar levels in the body remain elevated for longer than they should.
patients who are unable to control their blood sugar levels may suffer from hazardous health consequences and complications. The following are serious illnesses and consequences connected with high blood glucose levels. Damage to the nerves in the feet and hands, neuropathy, damage to the eyes blood vessels, retinopathy, kidney disease risk is increased, heart disorders, such as heart disease, are at a higher risk, metformin's mechanism of action. Metformin affects the quantity of glucose, or sugar, in the blood in three ways, by reducing gastrointestinal glucose absorption, decreasing hepatic glucose synthesis, and boosting target cell insulin sensitivity. Metformin has no effect on insulin production in persons with type 2 diabetes since they already make enough insulin but are not receptive to it. Instead, the medication improves the body's insulin sensitivity and reaction. How long does metformin take to work? Metformin is intended to be a fast-acting treatment, however, the time it takes for the drug to begin working varies depending on the dose and the individual patient's tolerance of metformin adverse effects. Most patients will experience some effects of metformin within 48 hours of their first dose, with major improvement occurring within a week. Lesser dosages of metformin are frequently administered to patients who are new to the medication to reduce adverse effects, and smaller doses will take longer to provide a substantial improvement in blood glucose levels. Many patients are recommended a starting dose of 500 mg of metformin once per day, which is subsequently increased until a maintenance dose of 1,500 mg is taken each day. Patients will see a considerable decrease in their blood sugar levels once they reach 1,500 mg per day. As a result, Depending on the starting dose and tolerance of the medication, it may take many weeks or months for individuals to see a substantial difference in their blood sugar levels when using metformin. What are the potential negative effects of metformin? Metformin is meant for long-term use and is the most often prescribed type 2 diabetes drug in the world, but it can also produce a variety of side effects. Metformin has the lowest adherence rate of any type 2 diabetes treatment, according to studies, and the severity of the drug's side effects is thought to be the cause. Metformin has a long range of adverse effects, however, the majority of them are typical and do not necessitate medical treatment. As stated below, there are numerous techniques to lessen the quantity and severity of adverse effects experienced when taking metformin. Subscribe our channel for future videos, visit our website holisticmeaning.com for more informative articles.